Here we are again. Um, it's not even something for the weekend. This is a midweek special. Um, look what we've got. FTDX10, fresh off the boat from uh, Yezu, Japan. Um, we've been waiting for this for a while now. Not too long, actually. This, is, uh, this was really quite sprungless uh, and came out to market very, very quickly. So congratulations to Yezu, Japan, for either keeping it extremely quiet because there's always little leaks that get out or actually uh, putting it into production very, very quickly. Um, we all know what it is. Uh, and if for those of you who don't, we're gonna have a quick unboxing video. I'm then gonna rate Jonathan in, and he's gonna go through uh, the, some of the features of the um, new wireless. And Steve, our uh, workshop manager is in today. He's gonna poke, Steve is gonna poke his nose in and uh, quickly go through uh, some of the features too. As I know he's been uh, getting some of them ready upstairs for shipping out to customers today. So let's have a quick unboxing. Typical Yezu uh, packaging, nice thick cardboard, I'm pleased to see. Instruction manual uh, without being in 15 different languages. Um, so not heavily weighted down. Yezu sticker is standard and the uh, map that they've been giving away for years and years and years. The way you get this out of the box, well, let's take this bit out first. Um, DC lead, no doubt. DC lead and the microphone. And you're getting, um, that's a nice one, I must admit, the SSM75E. So all the, a lot of the MH numbers seem to be going by the buy now. Um, and uh, a couple of spare fuse, microphone hanger mount. Um, quarter inch jack for the um, iambic key, spare fuse, and the hanger for the microphone. All seen those before. Put that to one side. Easiest way to get these off, by the way, I've found, is still leave these on, pull that off. And there we have it. Nice size, larger than the uh, FT991, but we'll do a comparison. Oh, let's just bring that up there so you can see. And I think we'll get this wired up, because it's very boring just looking at a radio without any power in it, and uh, put an antenna up to it and see what's on. It's got the bail stand, of course. Um, I'm still trying to get these mats out of Yezu. I don't know whether you can see that. I have asked uh, Yezu Japan um, if they can find some of these because we keep being asked for them. Uh, they do look nice, I have to say, especially if you've got all Yezu rigs and you can have a whole line of these lined up. So let's uh, get it wired up and see how we get on with that. So here we are, managed to uh, set the radio up. Took all of two minutes. Um, I see Jonathan's wandered in. So is Steve, and the others are all hovering around waiting to have a play with the new radio. As we love it, now stay back, stay back. We love it when the manufacturers bring out new radios, we really do. It's what uh, keeps us going as a business, but more importantly, keeps our enthusiasm going um, without new products. It, uh, it's great what we've got, but you're always looking for the next toy, aren't you? So, okay, got an antenna on it. First thing I like is the display. Goodness me, how bright is that? So I'm not going to have a fiddle around any further. I'm going to hand it over to Steve, who's lurking somewhere, who's played uh, and demonstrated the FTDX 101 a lot more, um, just for his initial impressions, because this literally is fresh out of the box. Okay. Okay, thank you, Martin. Yeah, right, so this is my first impression, my first viewing, real viewing uh, of the FTDX10. Um, I've, as Martin said, I've actually had a couple of them upstairs where I've been modifying them for the customers. 
uh, basically to enable five megs. Uh, well, that's fairly easy to do, it's uh, fairly straightforward. We just wanted to make sure everything was hunky-dory before sending them out. So here we have the, uh, the FTDX10, and my first impressions are wow. Um, it's basically a 101 that's been shrunk. Um, it's very, very nice. Obviously, it's a lot smaller than the 101, and the buttons and things are going to be a little bit more compressed, nearer to each other and things like that. But that doesn't detract at all from the operation once you get used to it. Um, I think Martin's already demonstrated the, the volume control and a bit of tuning and things like that. Um, so I was just going to go over some of the things very, very quickly. Um, very, very quickly indeed. There's no buttons along the bottom of the display like you have on the 101 itself. Uh, if you want to enter the main uh, menu system, you actually just press the function button. If you look on there, if I do that, now you've got everything that on there that you have on the 101. So it's fairly straightforward. You have the level, the peak, the marker, monitor, you can do decoding if you're in CW mode and so on. So it's fairly straightforward. And, and it, the screen itself is actually a touch screen. So, so that's all good. Um, sorry, I turned the noise down a little bit so we can hear, hear myself speak. Um, I'm actually, as I said, I haven't actually had a chance to really play with one of these yet. Uh, we're quite busy in the workshop at the moment and uh, we have a little bit limited staff due to Christmas holidays and things. Um, but once we get back to normal, I would really like to take one of these home and compare it with the, the 101 and actually my 7300. Now, the 7300 is, is obviously five years old. And it'd be very interesting to see how this now compares. You know, it should be five years later, it should be a lot better. So um, well, that's why I'm keeping my fingers crossed because this, you know, if, if it is, then this is going to be one of my next toys. But anyway, stay safe, everyone, and uh, look forward to uh, seeing you around the store at some point when we eventually open up. Thank you. Thanks, Steve, and uh, welcome to, to my little section with the, uh, the FTDX10. I've been playing with it for about an hour or so, um, so it's a little bit later on from when Steve uh, was in this area. Um, and a few things I've had a play with and I really like about the radio so far. Uh, a few things that um, I think are quite exciting. I think that it's really nice that, that Yezu have done on here. So uh, let's have a quick look at, um, at the screen. And um, uh, at the moment you can see that I've got it set up. So I'm seeing basically the entirety of 40 meters. And, and I really like this view. There is of course also the, the 3D view uh, as well available. And then you can also have several modes on that scope. So at the moment we're in the, that fixed mode, uh, but we can also change that to uh, more of a centered mode. So that's gonna, the, the whole um, scope is gonna move around as we tune. Uh, and then there's also the, the cursor mode, which is um, essentially when you get to the edge of the screen. So if I was to, to tune all the way up, uh, it's going to then start to follow me once I get to the edge, which is a nice feature. Um, personally, I think I prefer it in, in the fixed mode uh, so I can see the entire band, so I can easily identify some signals here. So that right on the bottom end, there's a, quite a strong CW signal. Uh, of course, FT8 right on uh, uh, 7074. Uh, someone tuning there by looks fair. And uh, quite a few SSB signals at the top end of the band. That I quite like, to be honest with you. Um, the, the menu structure is also quite easy if you're used to a, uh, used to a Yesu system and how they do it. Uh, to get into the, the sort of simple menu, it's quite like that. And then there's the full settings uh, available as well. So Yesu have really thought about the ergonomics of the radio by the looks of it and, and also how you use it. Um, the audio out of it is also very nice. It's got a very impressive notch filter. I was just trying that out on a CW signal and you can really notch out the CW. Uh, that, that signal. Uh, so if you're on a crowded band, that's going to be very useful indeed. Changing things like roof and filters, that's nice and easy as well. That's just tap on the screen and you can say so there's, there's three selectable roof and filters, either 500 hertz, 3K or 12K. Uh, again, there's also things you can change like the automatic gain control uh, and the attenuator and IPO as well. Again, nice and easy to operate. Uh, on the rear of the radio, of course, there's a USB port, a USB-B port connecting up to a computer. Uh, so you could easily run it with things like uh, digital modes like PSK31, FTA, or RITI. There's also the ability to, to put a keyboard into it. Uh, so you can do some digital modes directly on the radio without the need for a, um, for a computer at all. Uh, there's also the ability to put an external display on it. So if you're, if you're one of those operators, maybe you want to, maybe, maybe even a club station potentially, if you want to have a radio and put sort of a, another representation of the display 
on sort of a large monitor. Uh, FCD extender has got a DVI port on the back, so you can easily do that. Uh, as I say, audio-wise, it does sound very nice. The uh, the digital noise reduction is is quite impressive as well. And if you press and hold it, you've got varying levels of DNR, um, and that works well. If I try and get a station, so that sounds quite nice. Knock in the DNR. And it just makes it sound quite nice. Uh, what else can I tell you uh, very quickly? I quite like how Yezu have got the, the sort of outer ring, much like they do on the uh, FDDX 101 series. Obviously with the 101, you can change what the outer ring does. Here in its basic format, the inner um, tuning knob is your main sort of tune, and then to do a fast tune, that's around the edge. So you can easily uh, get from one end of the band to the other really quite quickly so that's also quite nice as well i'm sure we'll do a full review at this point i know steve is um is hankering after uh, taking it home and having a play at home in, uh, at his leisure so no doubt we'll do that at some point uh, and i know that martin wants to have a play as well and i think i've got third down the list to have it have a proper play with it uh, but we'll have a video a more in-depth review of it uh, very soon uh, so keep watching that but for now thanks very much for watching thanks to martin and for steve um for doing their bits as well and uh, we'll see you later in the week for our usual Sun of the Weekend video. For now, bye-bye.